Hello and welcome to Tuesday, two o'clock tea and talk. Um, my name is Aura McKay and I am a business coach and lifestyle strategist and I specialize in working with creative entrepreneurs and helping them to bridge that gap between their creative genius, the skills and talents that they already have and running a successful business and actually making money doing what they love. And the Tuesday two o'clock tea and talks are all about conversations around business, marketing, and mindset to serve and support creatives and other passionate service-based entrepreneurs to kind of navigate through some of the things that are going on in business and marketing and uh, understanding their mindset. Recently, um, I've been getting a lot of uh, people with a lot of frustration. So as I was saying, there's been a lot of people who have been um, expressing some frustration recently. They've been talking about how they're doing the work. They're putting in the time, they're making their posts, they're writing their blogs, they're, they're going to the networking meetings, they're doing the work and it doesn't seem to be getting them the results that they want in their business. And that, that sort of, you know, okay, I'm determined, I'm motivated, I'm gonna get out there, I'm gonna get her done, and you do the work, and you do the work, and you do the work, and then there's the deflation of, okay, it's not working, I'm not getting the results that I want. And I think that there's um, three main reasons why marketing doesn't work for most people. And one kind of overarching uh, generalization that I'm gonna make about marketing that I think for me has been one of the most challenging pieces. And so starting with that, starting with the sort of overarching marketing generalization, um, I think that a lot of us who are not trained in marketing communications, where our education, our talent, our skills don't live and exist in the world of content creation and content management and content distribution, when we're not living in that world and doing for others, I think that what happens is that we live in this bubble of like a fantasy bubble, an idea that you know all of our marketing should be 100% successful and if we send 10 emails then 10 people will get back to us and get excited about what we're doing. So I think that there's a little bit of an unrealistic expectation when it comes to what kinds of results should I be getting on my marketing. What kinds of results are reasonable to expect on different marketing tactics and different marketing activities? So I think that there's something to be said for a reality check and getting to know sort of what are the industry standards for the marketing tactic that you've chosen to use. So beyond all of that, beyond the reality check, beyond this sort of like, uh, you know, false optimism and uh, expectations that maybe are, don't even exist, there's three other main reasons why I think um, for many of us, especially in the creative field, that our marketing simply is not being successful. So I'm um, just gonna take a pause, I'm gonna have my tea. So today I have my beautiful um, Star Starry Nights mug and I'm drinking a, um, a peppermint tea with honey. All right guys, so here are the three main reasons why I think your marketing may not be working for you. And number one is clarity, number two is content, and number three is I'm gonna wait for it, because I want you to hang on to it, because all three of them are important, and I wanna see if you can figure out what the third one might be. So if we first look at the, the first two, and we look at clarity and content, Clarity comes in two different pieces, or well, actually more than two different pieces. Clarity, when we're looking at marketing, is about you know who are you in your business? What is your business up to? What does your business do? What is the promise of your business? Are you crystal clear on why you're in business, on what the vision for your business is? Are you crystal clear on who you serve? Do you have clarity about who your clients are and what they care about and what they need and what solutions you're providing for them? Do you have clarity on what your desired outcome is 
for your your marketing so you know this is about getting clear on what what can we expect from our marketing um, efforts what what are reasonable results but also clarity on how you're going to measure so some marketing we measure it by getting more likes or getting more exposure some marketing is about people opting into a list some marketing we measure by did it lead to a sales conversion so there's all different kinds of ways to measuring, measuring your marketing success. And it's about getting clarity on what it is that you're up to with your marketing. The more clarity that you have about who you are as a business, who you're interacting with, what your message is, and what you wanna say, the better off you're going to be. And that leads me to number two. When we're really clear about who we are as a business, when we're clear about who we serve, when we're clear about what the results that we want, the other thing that often, um, you know, kind of kiboshes our marketing, even when we know all of that, it's the content piece. It's really understanding, okay, so now that I know, you know, what my brand promise is, how do I communicate that? What kind of content do I need to create? for my marketing. So maybe your images need to be adjusted to have more clarity and more impact. Maybe it's your copywriting or your words. Maybe there's something around your content and, um, and how you're preparing it. Maybe the content that you're creating is better suited for a different marketing platform. Maybe the articles that you're writing would be better leveraged on LinkedIn than they are on your blog. So getting clarity about who you are as a business and who you're talking to and you know where you want to be communicating to people and then what is the content, what is the, the nuts and bolts, the nitty gritty, the juicy bits of what you're sharing, of how you're sharing that message, of how you're getting that out there. You know, um, are you using videos, are you using, um, you know, what, how is your content being um, strategically managed. So I'm a big fan of strategy, which is the overarching view of how to get clarity and content. And our third reason why your marketing may not be working for you, which is consistency. So, you know, a lot of us get really, really motivated to market when we don't have any clients. We kind of ride this consistently, you know, roller coaster experience of feast and famine, where, you know, once we're working for a client, it's like, oh yeah, things are good, and I'm doing what I love, and I'm working, and then I'm getting all creative, and I'm doing stuff. And during that time, we often forget about or neglect our marketing because we're busy and we're, we've got clients and we've got revenue coming in. So, you know, we don't really need to market. And then all of a sudden we don't have any clients anymore and we think, ah, and we kind of like spray and pray and try to reach out and share the messages everywhere and we're not consistent with how we're marketing. We're not consistent with where we're putting those messages. So when we look at, well, you know, why isn't it working? Why am I not attracting great clients? Why am I not getting the sales that I want? Why is this so hard? Why does it feel like I'm just spending all of this time and all of this energy? And for some of you, you're spending even money on your marketing and it's just not working. So I've shared with you a few tips about what I think it could be. So I think, you know, just to recap, there's this sort of generalization where we might have unrealistic expectations for how effective our marketing might be. The idea that if I send 10 emails, I'm gonna get 10 people read them and 10 people respond. Um, that's not necessarily how things work. And then the three things that might be missing for us in order to be more successful, successful which is our clarity, our content, and our consistency. But I get it, this is like a 15 minute conversation, you guys. And this is exactly why I have coming up on Monday, October 29th, a three hour hands-on live intensive um, mini masterclass all about marketing strategy, all about how do you create that overarching kind of view of a plan or something that's gonna guide you to help you make those decisions, to help you create that clarity, be able to 
simplify and understand what kind of content is going to be most powerful and most effective and then creating a plan so that you can consistently deliver that message with clarity with impact and with intention so i'm hoping that you guys are going to join me on monday october 29th at 6 30 p.m pacific uh, this is not on facebook you will need to register in order to get the link to participate so i'm going to um, put the registration link in the notes here for you and i hope to see you on monday night until then have a great week Thank you so much for joining me on the Tuesday 2 o'clock Teen Talk. If you have any specific questions about why your marketing is not working or a specific example that you'd like some feedback on, I'm always here to help and I really love uh, reading the comments and the threads. So thanks very much guys, enjoy your week and I'll see you on Monday at the Marketing Strategy Mini Masterclass.